Hello, my friends, I'm Natalia Levy and welcome to today's video. Now, have you heard about this National Days calendar? You know, I always wonder who come, comes up with those days, like do they have a lot of time on their hand or do they like to celebrate or do they like to help people celebrate? I don't know. If you know, please let me know. Um, today's video is all about celebrating National Lobster Day. I love lo lobster. Um, we serve a lot of great, phenomenal lobster dishes at our restaurant here in Florida, Speaks Clam Bar. We, uh, um, my family and I, we've traveled so much around Maine and Nova Scotia. One summer, I actually made it uh, my like my quest over the summers to find the best lobster roll available and we found it and we sort of recreated that recipe at the restaurant which is really fun but today that's not what we're talking about we're going to be creating a special dish for national lobster day now an interesting fact about lobster did you know that the lobsters are cannibals um and the <laughs> so we're going to save them from untimely death by just kind of feeding us a high in protein and they are delicious if cooked right okay so happy national lobster day september 25th national lobster day today i'm going to combine two of my absolute favorite foods and we're going to combine lobster with pizza and we're going to make a lobster pizza but we're going to make it with super amazing delicious sauce and i'm going to teach you how to do that so the first we start with a crust so now with a crust for this it just depending on whether it's like you're making a dinner for yourself or dinner for yourself and to other people or if this is a party. So you have different options for the crust. So I'm gonna do like a little cheat, a little shortcut. And I'm actually going to use this Trader Joe's gluten free cheese pizza with a cauliflower crust. So I'm gonna use this as a base. Now I'll be honest with you, I have tested this recipe just on a straight up cauliflower pizza crust from Trader Joe's. We did not like it. My husband didn't like it. I didn't like it. So three quarters of it, unfortunately, did not um, make it anywhere other than the trash. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Trader Joe's. You know, you guys, I love your stuff, but that was just like a mess. Um, or if you want, you can actually use this naan uh, and make it like a flatbread pizza. So I'll show you probably two options today. So we're gonna start with this crust, or you know what else you can make? You can use any other pizza crust if you're making your own pizza crust, regular or cauliflower, whatever. Use whatever crust that will make you happy. Because this is all about making you happy. So we have this cauliflower cheese pizza crust. I already have my oven preheated at 425 degrees. There we go easy so it's going to be like a layered lobster pizza okay so the sauce oh my gosh the sauce is the best part of this recipe and i am making this zesty garlicky marinara aioli and it's really easy to put together so i have a quarter cup of just like any old prepared marinara sauce if you make it yourself that's fine if you get a like a nice organic store board that's great too i have a quarter cup of uh, mayo depending on what mayo you like everybody likes different ones i i've tried paleo mayo i actually like that mayo that's been made with olive oil and i have a tablespoon of olive oil here and I have four garlic cloves that have been really super finely minced. Okay, put it in and mix it all together. This sauce is what just makes this lobster pizza incredibly delicious. So we're gonna use this crust and let's use the naan also and then we'll see how you like the look of each one. All right, we'll put these guys together on the pan. And now what we do is we take the sauce and we start spreading it all over. Just like so on top and a nice, you want it to be kind of like a thin layer, but 
to be all over, right? And because with, on this pizza there's already sauce and cheese, I'm just kind of, I'm not being super perfect about how it's going on. So it just gives like that extra flavor to our lobster, all right? And we'll put some here. I tried this pizza so many different ways and this sauce definitely makes it. All right, so now I have, so here I have lobster meat that's already been blanched. It's out of the shell, it's all ready to go. Um, use whatever lobster you have available. Like I said, the best, the tastiest lobster comes from really cold water, so somewhere from Maine or Nova Scotia. Um, this is, I bought four three ounce lobster tails and I just poached, poached them in the water for about nine minutes eat, um, each. I did it all in one batch. So use whatever lobster meat that you have available. So we're just gonna place that all around. This is just a great, again, if you are entertaining, your guests will be blown away by this because it, it just feels like lobster, you know, lobster used to be a prisoner food and now it's like this luxurious gourmet food item, right? So we, I have quite a bit of lobster here so it can be generous. All right, nice. Now on top of the lobster, I'm gonna put some fresh basil. I personally really love basil. You don't have to. All right, so I have this basil, fresh basil. I'm just going to chiffon out it really quick. I like a lot of basil. I just love, I just feel like fresh basil adds so much extra flavor to this. So what I do is I, fold a bunch of leaves over, I roll them like a cigar, and then we're just kind of sh slicing through. So this is how you chiffonade your basil. Okay, and now going to spread it all over. And I, you know what I also love? Not just the flavor, but also like that green color that it adds. Now look how pretty, this is like already Super pretty. I'm all, I think a lot of people eat with their eyes. So I know that at the restaurant, you know, if, if we have somebody sitting at a table and the waiter comes by with a dish and somebody will say, why, what is that? And I know myself, I've done that so many times where I'll be at the restaurant and, you know, like sometimes I'm just like not, I, I don't know what it is that I want to order. But if I see somebody having something really cool that looks beautiful, it just makes you want to eat it, right? So we go a lot of the times in food, in the restaurant, in plating, we go for the, for the aesthetic. So this is a beautiful aesthetic dish. Okay, and now I have this organic, finely shredded mozzarella cheese. We're gonna sprinkle some of this right on top. Mm, what is the good pizza without cheese, right? I'm excited. I love to go to when I travel to New York City. Now, I went through the culinary school in New York City, so I love that thin crust New York style cheese pizza or like a grandma's pizza or I don't know. I like, I love pizza. But if I can make it a little bit healthier, I look for ways to do that. And I feel like going with this cauliflower crust, it just, it just feels a little healthier, right? It's a better option. All right, so let's check with the box. This box tells us preheat oven to 425 for 20 minutes, remove all packaging, place a nonstick baking sheet and bake 10 to 12 minutes or until crust is golden. And remove from oven and let stand one minute before slicing. So let's set it for 12 minutes and we'll see how that looks. All right, well, why would you want to have two matching oven mitts? Because this is a lot more fun, right? To have mismatched. <laughs> All right, so the pizza is done and I'll give you a little trick. So we have done a couple of shortcuts in this video. One is we already used like a, a regular pizza that's already ready. It's frozen, it's ready to go. So that's like another a, a trick for you. And then uh, after the 12 minutes was up, 
I felt like the top still needed a little bit of browning, so I just turned on the broiler for a quick minute, and now it just looks so beautiful. So we're supposed to let it sit for a minute, if you remember the directions, and then slice it, but oh my gosh, this just looks so good. No, no, none here looks really good too. I don't know which one I would want to eat. So we're going to let it sit for just a minute and then we're going to slice it. All right, so it's been a minute. I let the pizza sit, so now let's cut through. Oh, I love the smell of lobster. Do you like the smell? What are your favorite smells? I am so curious. Favorite food smells. Let's, let's get a little bit specific here. I love the smell of chocolate. I love the smell of garlic. I love the smell of basil. And I love the smell of just like if I saute onions. Oh my God. Anybody who comes in the house, then everybody's like, oh my God, that smells so good. All right, and this is our Happy National Lobster Day. Happy National Lobster, Happy National Pizza Day. Whatever you celebrate and happy day to you, please share this video because I think that anybody who will try this pizza, this is gonna be so good. It's just like, they're gonna be licking their fingers, they're gonna be licking their neighbor's fingers, uh, table neighbor's fingers. I don't know, hopefully you're not licking your neighbor's fingers because that would be gross. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Please give this video a like, share, subscribe to the channel. We have so much more great stuff going on on this channel. Live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.